So Google has announced the Pixel 6 with its own processor, the Google Tensor. Now, the last time Google had a Pixel smartphone with a flagship processor was the Pixel 4 with the Snapdragon 855. So how does the Pixel 6 with the Google Tensor compare to the Pixel 4 with the Snapdragon 855? Well, let's find out. Okay, so you have the Pixel 6 with the Google Tensor on the left-hand side, and we have the Pixel 4 with the Snapdragon 855 on the right-hand side. And what's really interesting about this setup is that the Google Tensor, two of its cores are Cortex-A76, and four of the cores in the Pixel 4 are also based on the Cortex-A76. So really, what the difference is here, besides the GPU, and we'll talk more about that in a minute, is that the Google Tensor has those, those two X1 cores in place of two of those Cortex-A76 cores, and of course, both of them have got Cortex-A 55 cores. As I'm saying, that already the Pixel 6 is into the lead, so this is proving the point quite easily. It's gone through the uh, multiple 16 thread test there. It's now into the blur test with the beginning of the mixed CPU, GPU part of the test. While the Pixel 4 has not even got that far yet, it's still in. There it is. Now it's going into the blur test. So on the left hand side, now we're going to have the smoke particle test. We're going to see something about the GPU. Now the GPU is very different here. Let's see what the number is before we go on. 28 frames a second. And the GPU is very different. We have the Mali on the left hand side and we have the Adreno 660 on the right hand side and that may produce a difference because completely two different GPUs with historically quite a difference in their performance. Let's see what the flame rate's going to be on the right hand side, 21, 21. So there's a difference there in 2D graphics. We can certainly see that the Pixel 6 was doing much better as we are now into the end of that uh, test and into the Unreal test on the left hand side. But on the right hand side we are into the first of the two 3D tests and now the Pixel 6 is going to go down the pathway. It's doing quite well at the moment. Moment. Don't think there's any chance of Pixel 4 is going to catch up. So it's going to be a decisive little bit of a stutter there on the left, though. And there we go. What was the time? 1 minute 35.7. Okay, so now we'll wait for the Pixel 4 to complete its test run through the forest. And then we'll be able to see what the final time is. The clock is still ticking. Come on, come on, come on. What's it going to be? Get to the end of that path. What's it going to be? There we go. 1 minute 51.1. Okay, let's break down the scores and see exactly what happened. So as we saw, they're a convincing win by the Pixel 6 with the new Google Tensor processor, 1 minute 35.7, and then 15.4 seconds later came in the Pixel 4 with the Snapdragon 855, 1 minute 51.1. Well, what happened when we look at the CPU, very, very clear win there by the Pixel 6, 37.5 versus 47.9. So those Cortex X1 cores doing their job very nicely. When we get to the mixed CPU GPU, we saw a higher frame rate on the Pixel 6, so that was a good result there. 20.3 versus 27.5. However, when we do get to the GPU, we see a bit of a difference here, 37.9, but actually the Pixel 4 was faster, 35.6. So the Adreno 640 in the uh, Snapdragon 50, 855 still pulling its weight, still punching above its category there, so it was actually able to beat the Pixel 6 there. However, didn't make much of a difference to the overall score. The still, the Pixel 6 was the winner, 1 minute 35.7. My name's Gary Sims, this is Speed Test Geo. Really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up. And if you like these kind of videos, well, why not hang around by subscribing to the channel? Okay, that's it. I'll see you in the next one.